would give us an average of probably a C plus to a B minus. What's reflective in this letter grades is geared toward a C minus D, and that does not make us happy. 50% of each school's grade is calculated based on spring TCAP scores, something Hawkins County Director of Schools Matt Hickson says puts too much weight on a handful of tests given over about a week in the spring. We think a lot of the data that we're, we're looking at again doesn't correlate to what we're seeing throughout the school year as their growth is concerned. Hickson told me he's talking with state lawmakers about including data from benchmark tests throughout the year in next year's criteria. So students performance across the year rather than on one day is assessed. Also contributing to the low grades, says Hickson, is the high number of students missing 10% or more days of school. We, have, we struggle with attendance coming out of the 21-22 school year coming out of COVID. Mm -hmm. From that point on, our chronic absenteeism has been through the roof to the tune of nearly 30%. We're dealing with about 25% last year. Regardless of whether or not criteria is revised before next year's grades, Hickson said the district is increasing parent communication regarding attendance. We're working a lot of uh, a lot of angles from attendance to taking that test seriously, incorporating that as part of their grade that they earn in each course. The Tennessee School Board Association is also lobbying the state to expand the criteria for those school letter grades. Reporting live in Kingsport, Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you. Catherine, thanks. If you would like to see how your student's school ranked, we have the full list of school grade reports. It's on our website, WJHL.com.